Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Ear Signs, welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising, the planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 11th of June, Mars in Taurus squares Pluto in Aquarius, channel intense energy into constructive and positive changes. Address conflicts calmly and rationally. Seek collaborative solutions and share goals to reduce tension. On the 12th, Mercury in Gemini squares Saturn in Pisces. Focus on clear and precise communication. Double check messages to avoid misunderstandings. Put in extra effort into your studies and intellectual work. Join study groups or collaborate with peers for better comprehension. On the 13th, the moon in Virgo is in opposition to Saturn in Pisces. Balance your emotional needs with your practical duties. Organize your schedule to manage responsibilities effectively. Take time for emotional self-care and relaxation. Engage in calming activities like meditation or spending time in nature. On the 14th, the moon in Virgo squares Venus in Gemini. Handle social interactions with sensitivity and empathy. Communicate openly to avoid misunderstandings. Find a balance between personal emotions and social life. Seek comfort in the company of understanding friends. On the 15th, the moon enters Libra. Promote harmony and balance in your relationships. Engage in social and collaborative activities. Make decisions that consider the needs of everyone involved. Enjoy creating and maintaining a peaceful environment at home or work. On the 16th, Venus in Gemini squares Neptune in Pisces. Maintain realistic expectations in romantic and social settings. Avoid making decisions based on idealized views. Use creative pursuits to channel your imaginative energy. Ground yourself with practical tasks and stay connected to reality. On the 17th, Mercury in Gemini is conjunct to Venus in Gemini. Enhance your communication skills to build connections. Pursue intellectual and creative activities. Relieve stress through enjoyable conversations and social gatherings. Please stay tuned in. For the tower reading to follow. Big cat wave. Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs, welcome or welcome back 
to Frequency Phoenix 555 for messages for your next seven days. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, be care wave. Let's dive right in and unpack. You have the energy of a double three, darling, dears. The energy of the six. Okay, bestie. Lean right in. Let's dive in. So, according to the Chinese low shoe grid, the energy of the six is represented by um, a northwest direction. Okay? The energy of the six also speaks about helpful people. Um, um, it's also about your spiritual path. It's also about travel, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. So expect assistance from the least likely of places over the next seven days. The energy of the six, darling, dear, speaks about you balancing out your responsibilities and your relationships. Mm -hmm. But you have to be aware of becoming too overly critical or detached in those situations. So it's like getting to the heart of situations, darling, dear, it's having those those true open-hearted conversations with people that you care about over the next seven days, strengthening your bonds. Mm -hmm. But travel is also highlighted. Your power color over the next seven days will be gray and mauve, okay? The energy of the six. Let's drop down and get our eagle on. Three speaks about conflict and confusion, tongue wrestling, darling dears, arguments, quarrels from misunderstandings. Why? Because your life path is about to change, darling dears. And there will always be interference. You've got the double free, so be very wary of what? Arguing with anyone, tongue wrestling, God forbid, you'll be what? Tussling in the dust? No, 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 no. You've got to think outside of the box, remember? People that like to argue and fight, darling dears, more often than not, they've got nothing to lose. You're on your spiritual path. The six just told us that, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You may be a life path six, um, life path 33. The six rules the numbers um, six, 15 and 24. It covers the letters F, O and X. The number six is ruled by Venus. Venus rules Taurus and Libra, as well as the letters U, V and W. You are a natural healer and you have a natural joyfulness around you. You have this, um, your sense of humor it may be astute, right there, dry, whatever, darling dears. Use it wisely over the next seven. You're going to have to laugh through certain things, darling dears. Not every battle must you attend. Your luckiest numbers over the next seven days will be um, three, six, and nine. You're a natural healer, darling dears. You are. Your luckiest days will be Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Avoid the numbers one, five, and seven. The number six is supported by the astrological aspect of a sextile. And sextiles is about... Um, being able to produce results, things are going to be flowing easily. I told you, you're going to get a lot of help along the way. Mm -hmm. The energy of the six speaks about you having learned from some kind of mistake or error, darling dears. Okay, you're going to be extremely community orientated, family orientated over the next seven days, as well as what your social community, um, social community, your networking. You're going to be networking, darling dears. Okay. Venus also speaks about love. This could be a new love relationship or a deepening of love relationships, whether it's a platonic or romantic or familiar relationship. Okay. Um, the master number 33 tells me that you are teaching people a spiritual lesson. And then again, spiritual journey coming up as denoted by the number six on the Chinese low shoe grid. Mm -hmm. This is about you being peaceful, but being resilient in this peacefulness, darling dears. Okay, let's get the energy. So this reading is definitely going to be about the third and the sixth house. Third house is about your communications. Okay, yeah, messages. You're going to be getting messages, possibly even spiritual downloads. Okay, um, it comes on a two and a seven and nine because some situation or some way of thinking or being is about to end for you. We've also got the six. So you're breaking up your routine down to a three. It speaks about, um, this is going to bring growth, darling dears, but you're going to have to, what, speak your truth, roof, pinkies up over the next seven days. The energy of Venus comes through with love. But the love must come through love of self, remember. 
You have to put yourself first in every situation, darling, dears, even when you have children. Why, if you're not all right, they're not all right. If you're on a plane and it's going down Bobby Brown, they're going to tell you to put the mask on you. You can't help anyone else unless you're coming from a place of what stability and security within yourself. If you be the blind leading the blind. There's going to be a lot of... I think your social calendar may be even filling up, darling. There's new networking. It could be through work, um, some kind of meeting, six houses routine. Your ro daily routine is about to change in some way. The sixth house is what you do on a daily basis as well. Maybe you're changing up your, your physical um, routine, your diet, looking at your health. Um, and it's also, the sixth house is also about you how you handle everyday crises, darling dears. Remember I told you that? People want to smoke and all the fire with you, darling dears. But remember, you have something to lose, not them. You are on your spiritual journey. This means that you've had some form of ascension. Okay, right. Let's get the Oracle Ancestral message around this. Okay. We have the Watchtower of the South. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. This is represented by fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be the rekindling in within your rom romance. I told you bonds will be deepened, but it's all through what? Communication, darling. There's people speaking their truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just heard counselling as well. Okay. But it's also about you what getting the fruits of your labor, darling dears, attracting new things in because you are feeling more impassioned and the summer months are going to be some of the best months of your life going forward, darling dears, because of your tenacity, your resilience as depicted by the sunflower. So your ancestral team are loving your progress. Base of the deck, they're letting you know you're being protected at this moment in time. You are standing on the biggest pentacle of them all, darling dears. This speaks about um, um, you're going to have some kind of new opportunity, as I said, helpful people, um, a raise, a promotion. Maybe you've invested in something. It could also be invested in yourself. But a new income cycle is coming towards you, darling dears. Let's get the intuitive message for these people that want to argue and fight, darling dears. Do we go with the black? No, it said go with the multicolored. All right. People that want to argue and fight with you, darling, just take you off your path. Your ancestors said no. Don't do it, darling, just call them in at any time. This is rich white lady season. You are meant to be their karma, darling, dears. Oh, God, golly and gosh. I see you leveling up. They don't like it, darling, dears. They don't like it. And look what's showing us at the top of the deck. Trust your intuition. Use your intuition and discernment, darling, dears. Ancestral team, somebody's also offering up some kind of an offering to their ancestors. Where's your altar, darling? Just maybe you've prepared your altar. Maybe you're fully understanding that you have to honour those that went before because they are the ones that are protecting and guiding you, keeping you from tomfoolery and tongue wrestling with feeble-minded simpletons. Mm -hmm. Who's got, ain't nobody's got time for that. Okay. For my single air signs, you are going for a transformative period. This is um, Scorpio energy, the death card, the eighth house, darling dears. Trans it could be in your financial situation because the eighth house is other people's money. It could be getting money from a legacy, maybe a tax return credit. Maybe you're going for a bank loan, things like that. This is also about letting go of debt. Somebody's paying off their debts over the next seven days darling dears understanding in order to invite more abundance into your life you have to have your finances on some form of track going in the right direction the eighth house is also about the occult and your psychic ability somebody's getting into their spirituality it also speaks about a secret a secret you're going to find something out which is pushing you towards your this transformation over the next seven days okay clarified by another major arcana 
Again, this depicts you being protected by your ancestral team. Divine has a hand in your life. Divine timing is on the tableau, darling dears. Yeah, eight of cups. You're going to be moving away from something is going to signal this transformation in your life. It could be move, leaving um, a relationship, leaving a job because it's about finances, other people's money, darling dears. But somebody's leaving a situation that has been highly traumatic. This has been extremely emotional for you, but you had to have patience with yourself. This is what this is where compassion begins, darling dears. But it also reminds me of you getting some form of epiphany self actualization is the key to everything this is the this is the the um the fire and the wind beneath your wings darling dears to move away from a situation and it's the best decision you ever made yeah whatever you turning your back on darling dears created a lot of disappointment disillusion and it's about you what leveling up as depicted by the six of pentacles mm -hmm. okay this is about the Six of Pentacles is again saying that you're going to be giving and receiving help, helpful hands over the next seven days. Some of you will be getting counselling, but it also speaks about balancing out your finances. Maybe you're getting a financial planner or you're looking realistically of what you've got coming in and what you've got going out. Looking at your debts, paying them off. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also going to be going into some form of higher education over the next seven days, darling dears. I also see somebody taking swimming lessons. Maybe this is part of the new you, the transformation, darling dears. This new beginning. You coming out of your cocoon, darling dears, realizing that you don't have to stay in situations or places that are not for you. We've got the eight of cups and the four of cups. This goes to a twelve. Okay, this the twelve of the twelve of cups will come up to around the let me think. Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups represents offers. It also speaks about you being more charming over the next seven days. My single air signs. But if you're going into new groups, you're going to be walking to new, with caution, darling dears. You're not going to be giving out your emotions the way you were. You're going to see how the land lies. But I do see you socializing more, darling dears. Having more heartfelt talks. But you're, you're talking in the terms of what? Making the best situation for yourself. Over the next seven days. Well, those in a couple and partnership. Cool, child. Listen, someone ain't waiting for the summer months. They moving on immediately. Six of Swords. It also speaks about mentally going to a calmer place. Mm -hmm. Somebody's thinking direction is on the other side, darling dears, and this is wisdom for the wise. Could be financially guided. Why the hierophant is Taurus energy, the second house, darling dears. Somebody's moving. Are they moving within the relationship? Ace of Swords is the truth, darling dears. Moving on, darling dears. Yeah, towards a new beginning. Swords always speak about communication coming out of conflict to confusion. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also moving on as with the singles into higher education or you're going to be going towards some kind of promotion, darling dears. Yeah, a leadership role or if it's if you're not the manager, you're going towards a position where it's more it's going to be more intellectually guided, darling dears. This could be something online. It could also represent um, some form of communication, judgment, card, new beginning, darling dears. It also speaks about letting something go from the past once and for all. It's time, darling dears. Yeah, something that was mentally confusing to you for some time. And it also speaks about you having to make a decision. But all of the tools are there. Listen, listen to your intuition and your discernment. Your intuition feels like... It's like that sinking feeling, right? But it's pushing you. And when you move according to your intuition, the universe meets you halfway at the borderline, darling dears. It does. But it's about you taking this step, moving forward. Yeah. Mm hmm The Six of Swords speaks about this being a necessary transition and it also speaks about relocation. Yeah. Somebody's definitely moving two travel cards. I see moving of home, moving a business, someone going into higher education, going into a men going into some kind of mentoring position. 
but it's about getting it's about you getting a second chance or giving your relationship or partnership a second chance darling dears yeah rather than being in your head this is open communication to deepen bonds Look, can it split again on these new beginnings? Full card, and it also the full card also represents there is an age difference, but it's about taking the leap of faith together. Mm -hmm. More understanding. This is only um, ones and souls, so this is spiritually guided on a spiritual path, taking a spiritual journey. It could also speak about your partner letting go of whole old ideals, coming away to round to your way of thinking. Oh God, okay. Okay, split the deck again, darling dears. Moving away from what? Negative thinking, fear, fear of the unknown, darling dears. Letting go of addictions, whatever it is, it's happening. It's definitely going down Bobby Brown over the next seven days. Let's get a final card and then we'll end this reading. Final card. Mm. Beware of the people whose company you keep, darling dears. Remember I told you, they want all the smoke and the fire of you, as depicted by the double three. Mm -hmm. The double three also speaks about money, a large amount of money coming in for some. And as I said, we already saw the eighth house, some kind of investment. It's going to bring, harmonize your life, energy of the six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, be careful of this company. This argument could be because you are not going to take up on an investment. Maybe somebody expected you to put your money into this situation, your time, your energy, and you're deciding not to. Why? The energy is not right, darling dears. It's not on your level, darling dears. You are doing better without me. So listen, if it's someone from the... the oil. Final card. The watching watchers, darling dears, that haven't forgotten you. You are definitely being watched. The monitoring spirits haven't forgotten you, darling dears. Yeah, lurking, stalking. And it also speaks about um, trying to change the perception of other people because of something that you are about to back out of. It could be a bad investment situation where you possibly might even be, lose some money in darling dears. Remember to pay attention to your intuition and your discernment. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon or my TikToks where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Bikya wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.